Thank you. He's so good, and he's so faithful, and my legacy is simply my faith. It's the faith that he's given me. Nothing to do with me, it's his gift to me, and I'm always so grateful. Uh, I moved to Israel as a Jew almost seven years ago. I made Aliyah, which means to go up. You're always going up to Jerusalem, no matter where you're coming from. You're always going up. <laughs> my call and commission in my life is to release God's people into the freedom of worship. And whether that be through dance presentation ministry like this, or whether I'm teaching a creative moving prophetic dance workshop, I've had cowboys, 80-year-olds, anybody and everybody in between. I've had married couples that dance over one another and receive healing and restoration in their marriages. God has given me this vision. It's not mine. It's his dream that he's put inside my heart. And I am passionate to see God's people get set free because when they get free, they can move forward into their divine supernatural destiny. Now, did I say national? Divine supernatural destiny. And that is my passion. Um, there aren't too many dancers in Jerusalem that are called to full-time prophetic dance ministry, which is why I think he's got me there for now. And I have really been plowing the ground, so to speak. Um, I've been dancing on Jerusalem stone. Yeah, dancers shouldn't do that. Um, nobody should do that. And um, But I've been doing it. God's been protecting me, but I am raising funds for a wood sprung floor. And God gave me a vision to, uh, this is going to be the Tabernacle of David, wood sprung floor. And what he showed me is that when there is a proper wood sprung floor in the heart of Jerusalem that anybody can come to, because most dancers are intercessors. Most people who dance for the Lord are intercessors. He told me that they are going to dance. They're going to come from all the nations. They're going to dance on the head of injustice, dance people into healing Amen. and restoration and salvation. And um, you may be wondering why I'm wearing this. I'm not an Orthodox Jew. This was given to me for my 50th birthday in 52. And I'm saying that publicly. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> And Amen. This is a prayer shawl. And you know, a prayer shawl is very biblical. You know, I dance with a lot of materials. Big, big, big materials. You can get lost in there, but it's really good for your arm muscles. Anyway, I'm really happy to be here. Um, I want to let you know that I have two uh, DVDs of my dance worship uh, filmed in the land of Israel. And I'm selling one and giving the other one as a free gift. So it's two for 20. And they'll, I'll be out there with them at the end. Um, and I just really... Um, I'm called to pray people into their destiny and dance people into their destiny. And I think God uses the, the, um, the dance that I have and the gift of encouragement to bring me into places, into prayer houses and churches. But really what it is is he just wants me to pour out his love. Amen. You know, I'm a lover. I was made for love. We were all made for love, to love God and to love his people. And his people also meaning the people who are not yet in the kingdom of God. That's right. We need to believe Amen. in them. So um, if you think of me, um, please lift up a prayer for me. It's absolutely wonderful living in Jerusalem. It's challenging, and I love a challenge. I guess that's why I live there. It's wonderful. It was God's will. He said go, and I knew that it was time to go. Um, he also asked me to raise up an all-male dance troupe, an ensemble, a woman's ensemble, and I have a mixed-gender dance troupe that represents 15 nations thus far, I believe, for more nations. And he told me to raise it up in 2011. So I've been dancing in the ministry for 18 years and teaching dance much longer than that. Um, but even if I had no dance experience, well, God can give a call to people with no experience, and we know that. So the message of the last thing I want to say is that I want to encourage each and every person to take hold of the dreams that God has placed within your heart because no one else can bring that forth but you. Amen. You have Amen. fingerprints that no one else in the world has and that just testifies that there is a heart inside you that no one else has. And therefore it's imperative that with the assistance of God and his Holy Spirit that you bring it forth. This world needs you. Amen. This world needs what you have. Amen. So take that to the bank and cash it. Thank you so much. got someone for you for the da male dance his name is Patrick he's over there <laughs> I want to volunteer him right now he's 